All right, imagine this. You have a new client named Marcus, and Marcus is in dying need of a freaking haircut. But I will say this. I'm using something different on you, so this might be something that might not work out, Marcus. Is that okay with you? Marcus? All right, Marcus. I see you walked in with some waves and uh, you haven't been really taking care of them, I see. And this this is no shots at you, Marcus. I need you to stay calm when I talk to you. Look, he hasn't been brushing consistently, boys and girls, and it's cool, it happens. And to be honest, if you're a grown up and you have elite waves, unless you're out here trying to push them on the internet, I might question what you're doing with your life. You're too busy once you're an adult. Waves are mostly a young man's game, boys and girls. So if you notice any adults that have flawless waves and they're not on the internet, run. And after you're done running from that elite waving adult, grab you some water, hydrate, and then grab that pink comb and start combing Marcus's hair. So comb away, study the ground that you are about to cut. You don't wanna go and cut before you comb, so comb before you cut. Like I already mentioned, Marcus, we're not dealing with the same tools that I've been using lately, Marcus. I tend to switch things around when I cut hair. So what we're gonna end up using, Marcus, is these rec clippers right here, they're called FX3s. Now, boys and girls, and Marcus, I need you to understand, come in here, come in here. Let's talk about this. This is a different clipper here. As you can see, Silas is getting it prepped up for us. Thank you, Silas. I appreciate that. Look, I need you to understand something. And that thing is this. This clipper right here is way different than this clipper right here. I'm no different than 99% of the freaking barbers in the world. We use levers over here on this side. We don't really use the clicky thingy. And it's gonna be a little bit, hmm, what can I say? Uh, challenging to use this on Marcus. <laughs> So we've cleared most of the ground, but now we have to be careful and clear the front. I keep that last. I clear everything else first, do the front hairline with a lower guard. This is more than likely a two, but this is the problem, guys. I gotta, I gotta be honest about this. So with this, this Red FX3 clipper, it comes with a guard system. This guard system is cool and all, but a, a lot of clipper companies make these native guards for these clippers and forget this one thing they make these guards the same freaking color yo same color guards suck marcus listen to me i want to give you the best service possible in a reasonable amount of time and look same color guard systems just don't make my life easier marcus i hope you understand i and and they don't come with a rack there's only one freaking company that does that right now or or one of these bootleg companies on alibaba or something look we have our trimmers and our trimmers are about to create this ball guideline now this ball guideline cannot be a big ball guideline because marcus wants to have a c cup and if you want to give marcus what he wants we have to create a small guideline so grab your trimmers grab your water hydrate a little and attack marcus we are giving you well this is not really like a dime size ball guideline is more like a quarter but you don't want to go all the way through leave the connection to the beard alone just keep it inside don't touch the outside because that's what's going to help you keep the c cup dark some people do these things differently this is how i've done it so far because you know shout outs to nata for the ones that know nata if you don't know nata it's because you're not subscribed and if you want to know nata i would subscribe to the channel and for sure like this video like it for nata All right, so grab your number three, boys and girls, and it's time to debulk. Now remember, we use a number three with the grain, and you know, typically people believe that you can use the same number three to go against the grain, but that's not the case with these type of waves. You have to go one guard higher, grab the number four, and go a little bit higher just to take that, that bulky edge that is still noticeable when you look back at the mirror. Uh, make sure you <laughs> look back at the mirror because if you're not looking at the mirror, what are you doing with your life? Huh? Don't just trust your sight. Use the mirror. It helps you. It's like tilting back and seeing what you're looking at. But you know, most of us don't do that because we're in the rush of things. No, don't be most of us. Be the small percentage of us, Marcus. You understand me? So after all that, 
you know, you, you just want to keep breezing through this process, boys and girls. And, you know, again, these clippers, when I got them like three or four months ago from CT Barber Expo, uh, I did buy them. Afterwards, I got a whole nother set for free, but I did buy the FX3 setup I bought. It was like, it was, we, we almost touched $600 on this one. And this is one of those purchases. I don't know if you noticed though. I don't know if you noticed. It was a little off track right there. You saw that number one, how it kind of came off. I don't think Bablis is ever going to send me another Clipper setup ever again after this video. <laughs> So, like I already mentioned though, I did get another set and you know, there's the there's the clipper, the same clipper I'm using right now, a shaver and a trimmer. Now, the shaver is fire is probably the most favorite out of the three. Uh the shaver is real light, is strong as an ox, whatever that means. Out of the three, the shaver is my go-to, second to that is the trimmers. Now, the trimmers uh we got to talk about the trimmers when it's time but right now all i gotta say is you gotta be careful with them things the trimmers hit they slice they might be a little bit much but we'll get to it when we get to it let's keep focusing let's not move ahead of ourselves let's focus on this taper with marcus How are we looking, Marcus? What are we working with, boys and girls? All right, so you can, I don't know if you can see that little dark area right above the ear. We gotta attack that in a little bit. Don't forget about lightening that area up. Yeah, like we're doing right now, pressure. So like I already mentioned, if you go against the grain with this type of hair, with a number three, for example, you wanna go a little bit higher at first. So use that number four. If it's still dark, then work your way down till you find the shade that you want because you don't wanna risk it. It's Marcus, guys. You don't wanna risk it. Marcus came to us trusting us. And we all know in this group that we have going on in this channel, you know, it's all about maintaining that trust with our clients. You know what I'm saying? We've been cutting a few. We deep on these videos, guys. Shout outs to all of us. <laughs> so now we're gonna go ahead, apply some pressure with some hairspray. I'm not picky. Go ahead and just use hairspray, any hairspray. And after you dry it off with some cold air, we're gonna apply pressure with these trimmers. Now, like I already mentioned, boys and girls, these trimmers are different. These trimmers hit beyond hitting. These blades have been sharpened in such a way that can really irritate, possibly cut. I didn't even feel comfortable using any other angle besides the freaking front and the vertical bars. I didn't even wanna use these trimmers on the C cup. That's how freaking scared these things make me. Look, like I'm moving so slow on the C cup right now because hey, Marcus is light skin, man. Look. The light skin community doesn't react to this type of edge up like anybody else. Light skin community stand up. We out here. take this moment to uh, give a huge R.I.P. to my old station boys and girls. We aren't rocking with that anymore. We have moved on to bigger and better things and and one day I'll show it to you. Matter of fact, if we get 5,000 likes on this video, I'm gonna drop that video. I'm gonna drop my new station video which is looking dope. I will drop the baddest barber station video on this land if we get 5,000 likes. So make sure you share this video, subscribe and like like it like man tell everybody to like it tell your mama your grandma getting close to the end and I don't know if you've noticed boys and girls that there's some areas around his edge line are, that are still dark and some of it is actually some of that enhancement that we used earlier but don't worry we can get that out you can use the blade by itself sometimes you might have to use a little bit of aftershave overall I think that 
What can I say? I feel like I've said more negative than positive about this clipper. This is pretty bad. I use it on a few people. I use it on clients for almost a whole week, actually. But, you know, Marcus was one of the few people that I actually did a whole video on. And, you know, Renzo as well at the house. And he liked it, yeah. but he likes any haircut. So shout outs to Renzo. You know, if you don't know Renzo, you don't, you're not subscribed to the channel. Back to Marcus. We've made it to the end. Marcus, Marcus, come in, come in, come in. Look. I appreciate you for coming by the shop, bro. He found me because of us, for the support that everybody's given this channel. So huge applause for the community. We out here growing. Shout outs to y'all. Shout outs to Marcus. Marcus, you came in looking different, struggling a little bit, and uh, you were willing to let us try a whole new setup. So for that, good sir, thank you.